and welcome to the subpar stream, the mostly appropriate stream that is meant for mature audiences. Anyway, I'm taking a break from Bayonetta just to show off this game, Jack and Jill DX. Why am I showing this off? Well, because this game has a bit of a reputation, actually. Does it have amazing gameplay? Fun gameplay, yeah, but I wouldn't call it anything, like, super special. Are the characters... complex? No. Why does this game have a rep uh, reputation? Because it just may be the easiest platinum trophy to get. Seriously, like, if you look at the percentages, I mean, a, major a majority of the people that get this game do get the platinum. So anyway, I'm here on one of my other accounts, just so I can do a full platinum playthrough. Why do I have different accounts? Uh, I got one just to help another person boost in Portal 2. One of the trophies you get by doing co-op with somebody that hasn't done it before, so I just made an account since he helped me get some of the other co-op trophies. And then I have another account just for... just so I can get on the, get on the uh, Japanese PSN. So anyway... I'm gonna try to get the Platinum through this... fit in this video, and... Hi, I'm Jack. Can you help me reach Jill? She should be somewhere nearby. Press X, and I'll start running. So, you, like you said, you press X, he starts running. You got coins you can grab. Complete. I already got some trophies. I'm a poor peasant. I found you. You need to start somewhere. Anyway, press X while I'm running to let me know when to jump. If I bump into something, I'll turn around. So, for example, if I don't jump, he hits the wall, turns around like that. I press X, he jumps. These first few stages are kind of just a tutorial. Watch out for the bits. Watch out for the bits. Got the coins. One of the trophies is to get 250 coins, which you will... I mean, you'll get it naturally. On the way to Platinum, you pretty much won't have to go back. Where were the bits? We're not going to find out yet because I'm, in, I'm going to fall down on purpose. Why? Because you get a trophy for dying. See you in the next life. And I should mention, I don't believe the uh, trophy pop-ups are going to be recording. I'm recording this off of my PS4, so hey, what are you going to do, right? Alright, let's go now. So anyway, uh, as you can see in the top center, World 1-5, you do have like, what, seven worlds? And each world has 20 levels. In order to get one of the trophies, you do have to complete a world, which will also unlock a mini game, which is how you get another trophy. Warning, extremely spiky objects ahead. So yeah, jump over the spikes. Much like anything else, hazardous, they are instant death. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was concentrating on the coin that I missed. Didn't see that spike, spiky thing. Yeah, you can platinum in this game like less than 20 minutes, and you can see there's kind of an alternate pathway. And now we're going to the left. But yeah, if you're a trophy hunter, if you want to just boost your score, this is the game to get it. It's actually pretty cheap, and not only is it pretty cheap, it's also usually on sale. If I had to take a guess, I would say the uh, game makers purposely made the platinum easy just to try and get people to buy the game. Though it is fun, in its own right, I mean, it's, it's, kind of an it's kind of an interesting game, just a single button game, pretty much. You can play one-handed, just like that one mode in Bayonetta, I believe. So I've got 115 coins, and I'm not even halfway done with this world. Yeah, I'll probably have 250 by the time this ends. I should probably be trying to go after some of those big ones. See, that bouncy thing looks good enough to give me a boost up to that high ledge. I really should 
stayed on the bottom path. Catch one on the flip side. But yeah, if you're going for the platinum, I believe the the plat if you're going for the platinum in one playthrough, pretty much the last trophy you're gonna get is like buying something in, in the shop. Some of these levels will pretty much become complete trial and error. Like you, either that or you have to have like really fast reflexes just to react to the obstacles. jump again as you hit him, you can get a boost while you bounce, and another reason is, you get a trophy for it. Oops. Well, I timed that badly. I think you get the trophies at the end of the level. X when I land on one. Oh, you already knew that? Yeah, you gotta do that just to clear some of the uh, gaps. Sometimes you don't want to bounce off them, you just want to let it happen, like, just fall off naturally. A uh, trophy, am I rich now? Well, yes, I've got over 250 coins. Like right there. If I had actually bounced off that enemy, I would have went further in, 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 into the spikes. Basically, one of those games you games you can platinum without actually having to beat it. You gotta like trying to. Or technically, I think Super Weekend Mode. But I consider Super Weekend Mode to be more of a uh, arcade type game. It's also another easy platinum. In a way, 
this game almost kind of reminds me of Super Meat Boy, but, you know, probably not as hard. Alright, so that should be the end of the first world. You can see I unlocked a new minigame. And trophy, it's minigame time. I need a break. also see they got little challenges it's basically just you know collect a thousand coins stuff like that defeat ten baddies by stomping on them but nope we're gonna go play a mini game and mini games do cost coins to play a hundred coins oh, whoops okay let's try this again yeah the uh, coin symbol next to the 100 throws me off sometimes. It makes me think I'm supposed to press circle to start it, but no, press X. So this is the first mini game. Oh, and I got a trophy. This is fun because I'm playing a mini game. So you press X to jump, help baddies cross the pit, and earn tickets. You can use tickets to unlock new things. So you can see just our bridge. Our bridge randomly generates. You just want to jump over the gaps. Got almost 50 seconds to go. Yeah, every world you beat, you unlock a new mini game. I've only beaten like the first three worlds, so I've only got three. I am only just showing off the platinum playthrough, so you know I won't be getting those. But as you can see, this is just a very simple game just basically get as close to the edge as you can before you jump but you still got plenty uh, plenty of leeway 25 tickets so far because you can see you get tickets every time you are uh, successfully get one of these guys across oh do i got time Come on. yes <laughs> just barely anyway trophy earned is this money then you just get that by earning tickets uh, any more trophies visit the shop, just press triangle, and we'll just buy us an item. Trophy urn, there's too much stuff here. And this should be the last one. Trophy urn, platinum Jack and Jill. So right there, easy platinum. So uh, that's that. If you want to boost your, tro your trophy scores, just I recommend this game. It's very easy. And I guess I'll see you next time.